Every weekend in the summer on Saturdays, we do the Beach Patrol Report. I'm excited. Because we want people to know where to swim and bathe and, and, and when are the races and all the information that goes along with it. The Beach Patrol Report is brought to you by Groundhog's Moving Company. Looking to move soon? Leave your worries behind and the heavy lifting to the Groundhog's Moving Company for a good price without any drama and a team of family-friendly professional young men will respect your mama more than a moving company. Groundhog's is second to none when it comes to handling your move, clean-out, or furniture delivery with care. Call Piaggio Basicchia at 856-689-0239. That's 856-689-0239. And check them out on Google, Facebook, or Instagram. Let's go to the Maserati, the Mainline Sports Hotline, and welcome in a captain from the Wildwood Beach Patrol, Ed Snyder. What's up, Ed? Uh, how you doing, Billy? All right, I'm Ed. I'm excited. Go ahead. What? I was just sitting down here on a beautiful, sunny day in Wildwood. Uh, I can't wait to get out of the studio. Hey, listen, I'm super excited about uh, about the Beach Patrol racing season coming up. But before we get to that, Ed, I know... You guys, I believe, had your test. Uh, did you guys fill all your spots? Uh, we are we are full. Wildwood is full, um, and we're actually bringing in all our rookie candidates next weekend just for some physical training on Saturday. Now, Ed, when does Wildwood open? Do you have all the beaches, all the guarded beaches open uh, right now? Not yet. We're we're still in a preseason. So weekdays, uh, we do not have beaches open. We do not have lifeguards on the beach on weekdays. Starting on Saturday, June 11th, we are going to have the entire beach guarded. Mm. Now, uh, and that Ed, would be, Ed, we that we, would be five days a week. Ed, you you and I, we covered the uh, the races. We we did that. We broadcasted live the Dutch Hoffman's, the Margate Memorials last year, and the South Jersey Lifeguard Champions. Uh, championships that were in Longport. Of course, Longport won the, I believe, their fourth consecutive uh, South Jersey Lifeguard Championship. But uh, what are you guys, are you guys preparing now for these races? And and can you shed a light on some of the races that are that are the f- the first races of the season? Well, um, our returning lifeguard competitors, uh, they actually start preparing. You know, back in January and February. Uh, one of our one of our senior lifeguards uh, does some things with the rowing community. Uh, we have instructor Bill Audy doing some things with our swimmers and our paddlers. So uh, the competitors don't start training, you know, when we get into May and June. They're usually training year round. Um, now that we're opening up and the lifeguards are in town, uh, we do do some training on the beach uh, almost daily. Uh, we have the guys going down to the Crest Pool. They get some pool workouts. And, you know, always the, the goal of competition is to build the skill sets of lifeguards. And if they're training more for competition, they're going to be better lifeguards on the beach, in the lifeguard stands. And it basically helps them avoid injury. We're talking with captain of the Wildwood Beach Patrol, Ed Snyder. Ed, the – um. How many beach, How many uh, guards do you guys have in Wildwood on your staff? Um, our lifeguard staff consists of approximately 70 lifeguards, plus or minus one or two. And then we have an administrative staff of seven lieutenants. And that's roughly one lieutenant per 10 lifeguards. Hmm. Now, Ed, I know it's a beautiful day. I can't wait to get out. Uh, I'm heading to Ocean City after the show. Uh, but it's, it's a beautiful day, and I know... All the beach resorts are packed, but you gotta, you got I mean, you guys provor, provide a service that's very, very important. You protect the bathers. Explain to the people that are not familiar why is it, why is it dangerous not to swim in front of a lifeguard? Well, first of all, uh, the lifeguards are are trained to be uh, preventative. They're trained to prevent drowning. They're trained to prevent injury of the beach patrons, uh, people who are on the beach, and they're trained to prevent injury of themselves. Um, The fact that we have lifeguards there, it just makes the ocean and the beach environment safe. 
Now, Ed, uh, you you sent me uh, a schedule of some races. Can you give us shed light on, like, do you guys have your inner city races? Like, how do you guys determine who's going to represent Wildwood? Don't you have, like, inner city races? Yeah, we have, we have inner, inner city races, and we have what we, we do. It's called indicator training. Uh, so we identify the talent and the skill sets of our lifeguards, and we put those people together to train together. Uh, so our rowers will row against one another. Our paddle boarders will paddle against one another. Our swimmers will swim against one another. And this allows the veteran athletes to teach the younger athletes, um, the higher level skill sets. And it also, um, allows us to, to go very deep within our talent pool. And again, uh, lifeguards competing builds the lifeguard skill sets and makes everyone safer on the beach. Hey, Ed, it's Michael. A question for you. Someone who's new to this part of the uh, segment with the races, are there certain towns that are known for being at the top of the game, whether it's, you know, swimmers or the guys that are into two boats and two people in a boat, stuff like that, or, or is it all over the board every year? You, you never know. If, is Longport going to win this year? Is Ocean City going to win this? Is Wildwood going to win this year? Is there anybody that, like, stands out? Well, right now, I have to say that that Longport is the heavy favorite, and you know they have been the heavy favorite for the past four years. Uh, with regards to the rowing competitions in the sprint races, um, that has been generally dominated by the Absecon Island patrols, um, pretty much Atlantic City, Brigade, or Atlantic City, Margate, Longport, Ventnor. Uh, however, the other beach patrols do have some some guys who are and guys and girls who are able to pop into the mix against those patrols. For some of the longer races uh, in the rowboats, uh, pretty much Wildwood Crest has, has really dominated that with having multiple boats in the top 10 in like the Brigantine Bay race and the around the island row. And they've been pretty strong for the distance races. Uh, swimmers, all beach patrols look to get swimmers and and an athletes who are skilled in running. Um, so you never know where the good athlete is going to pop up um, from those patrols. Uh, Brigantine and Ocean City for paddle boarders, uh, they've generally been pretty dominant with paddle boarders. And uh, both male and female, you know, there's always room for a newcomer uh, to, pop up, to pop a good race uh, against some of the crafty veterans. A uh, rumor, there's a rumor out there. I don't think Joey Tepper is going to be back for Longport this year, so that might open open things up in the swim. Uh, but uh, and I look for. Hey, listen, we're going to cover the, uh, the the Dutch Hoffmans this year. You'll be in the booth with me. We had a great season last year, and I look forward to another great season of uh, lifeguard racing. Absolutely, absolutely, and um, you know we're we're preparing. Uh, our first big county race is the Cape May counties for the Cape May County patrols. And then actually on that same night, it's Friday, July 8th, is the uh, Michael McGrath Longport yeah. Memorial. All yep. right. So we're, we're, all the patrols are getting ready. All right, Captain Ed Snyder, as always, we really appreciate it. I'll be in contact with you as we get closer to the racing season. I really appreciate you taking time, uh, getting off the beach and talking to us, and we'll, do, and we'll talk to you soon. All right, you guys have a great day, and remember to swim in front of the lifeguard. There you go. All right, there he is, Captain Ed Schneider uh, from the Wildwood Beach Patrol. The Beach Patrol Report is brought to you by the Groundhogs Moving Company. Looking to move soon? Leave your worries behind and heavy lifting to the Groundhogs Moving Company. For a good price, without any drama, and a team of family-friendly professional young men that will respect your mama, more than a moving company, Groundhogs is second to none when it comes to handling your move Clean out or furniture delivery with care. Call Biagio Pasicchia at 856 689 0239. That's 856 689 0239. And check out them on Google, Facebook, and Instagram.